All right, hey guys, first thing first, uh, you're gonna hear a little bit of background noise. Uh, sorry about that, there's gonna be people walking around and TV's on, so just sorry about that if you hear anything. Today I'm gonna be making, or showing you guys how to make some wax slugs. I already cut off a few. What you wanna do is you wanna cut the brim off, and I'm gonna show you that right now. So you're gonna take your shotgun shell. This is a 12 gauge number eight bird shot. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to cut the limb off. You're not going to want to actually cut the, uh, this thing right here. Sorry, I don't know what it's called. Or forget, or whatever. So you're going to want to dig into it and keep it as low as you can the entire time. Just keep on twisting and shoving your knife into that little brim on the top of your shell. Alright, now you might, like, cut a piece off. That's alright. When you see that, this top lip is going to lift up. What you're going to do when that happens is you're going to want to take your shot and just pour it in there like that. So let me get these two other shotgun shells done and I'll be right back. Hey, what's up guys? I'm back. Um, <clears throat> now what you're going to want to do when you have all your shotgun shells uh, ready is you're going to want to put your stove on pretty much low heat. And what you're going to want to do is you can use any kind of wax, uh, candle wax, uh, paraffin. Uh, you can even use uh, crayon wax. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to monitor this, all right? And I actually forgot something that I need to mix it with, so I'll be right back. All right. I've got my spoon here, and I'm just going to melt this up, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, what you're also going to want to do, like every few seconds or so, you're going to want to pick it up and mix it. Take it away from the flame and just mix it. Just stir it around. That will keep your wax at a safe level so it won't flare up on you. Then all you got to do is put it back on and leave it there for a few seconds. Alright, now the next step in this process is uh, take your um, wax away from the heat and you're just going to want to pour your wax in. Then what you do with that, you just take it and just, you're going to want to mix it and then um, I'm going to put it back on the fire for a few more, like a, maybe a minute and you know, still stir it while I'm doing that and then okay. uh, I'll be right back with you. Alright, now what you're going to want to do when you have your shot and your wax, I already poured up a few but I'm going to pour up this last one for you because I forgot to turn on the camera. You're going to want to get a fair bit of wax and shot. More shot than wax, you gotta remember that though. You, the hard thing is getting the uh, perfect ratio between uh, your shot and your wax. So you're just gonna keep on continuing to fill them up, just bit by bit. And remember, you don't wanna get too much wax and you, know, you don't wanna get too much shot. The, the main point of using the wax is just to hold it together. So I'm going to pour a bit more. All right. Now when you have it like this, all you're going to want to do is take some wax, just wax only, or paraffin, whatever you have to be using, and just pour it right on the top, and you're going to see a little bubble. 